Hey there guys, uh, what is going on today? We're out here at the Cornwall handgun range. I'm going to take these off so I'm not yelling. Uh, it is a beautiful day. The uh, sun is shining. There's a little bit of wind. You can see the flag blowing around a little bit, but uh, a beautiful, beautiful day. And I have got with me here the Kodiak K9 that I recently won in a draw. So uh, amazing little firearm. I have not shot it yet. If you haven't seen the unbox video yet, check that out. But I put a Vortex uh, crossfire, little red dot on it. It's a red dot, green dot. And it's got the laser etched reticle, which is really cool. So even if you lose battery juice, you still have reticle to aim with. Just mounted it last night. Haven't fired a single round out of it. We're here at 25 meters. I'm just gonna check zero, see how it functions, make sure everything works good. But as you can see, very much, uh, I don't want to say AR-ish, but yeah, and I mean it looks the part, right? It's a black scary gun, uh, nice little collapsible stock here in the rear. I mean, you know, manipulating it is where you would expect. It even has the cocking handle as per uh, an AR, and the best thing about it is it takes Glock mags, and I have quite a few Glock mags. So. I got about seven or eight rounds. Gonna give this a little work here and see what's going on. Uh, if you guys have one of these, click in the comments, see what you think about it. Uh, like I said, this is gonna be my first shot, so I'm kinda hoping that everything goes well. Should not kick, it's a nine mil. And it's got an 18 inch barrel on it, so this thing, and it's pretty chunky. So this thing should be pretty good to target with. It's a good planker, I think. Oh, it fits nice, so nicely. There we go. Ow. Oh. Alright, we're just going to check it out, see where it is on zero. I, uh, this was set up on a 22 before, so I'm not sure how this thing is uh, shooting. Anyway, we'll go check it out, and we'll be back! Alright, let's check it. Pretty decent grouping for uh, like a 9 mil carbine. Again, that, that 18 inch barrel certainly helps. At about an inch and a half or so. Uh, but, and the windage is right on the line, so I'm not going to play with that. But I'm going to bring it down 6 inches or so, try and get on this center. Even if it was an inch high, it probably wouldn't be a bad thing at 25 meters. Because I think this thing should be zeroed at 50. So we'll probably bring it down to down 5 inches and then see where we're hitting. Oh, you're like, you're in the ten ring. So, uh, got back from the range with the Kodiak uh, K9. Uh, this thing is so awesome. I'm so impressed with it for many reasons. Um, and I just want to talk a little bit about the specs before I roll into like my kind of review slash unbox slash uh, uh, shooting. Many, many good things. Anyway, I, I, I'm excited about this rifle. I was excited when I got it and I'm super excited now that it's mine uh, and it's one of mine in my possession. So this is a non-restricted firearm. No matter what it looks like, this is classified in Canada as a non-restricted firearm, i.e. you can go shoot it in a gravel pit. Okay, you don't have to go to a range to play with this thing. You can go uh, use it responsibly. Uh, check your local regulations, as I always say. So uh, it's chambered in nine by 19 millimeter or the standard NATO nine millimeter round. Uh, it takes Glock mags, right? That's awesome. I, I hate when a firearm comes out and it's really cool and the only way you can load this thing is by its proprietary mag. So you spend like $92 uh, 
and, and to buy a second mag because you're worried about loss or, or damage or whatever while you're out in the range. But if you have Glock, like I have Glock, and you have Glock mags, this thing takes Glock mags. It does when you buy it, it comes with one of those P-Mag Glock mags. I'm not really keen on them. I like the actually OG Glock mags. They work really well and uh, they seem to be more robust. Those P-Mag Glock mags are not the greatest, I think, in quality. Maybe there's better ones out there, but the ones that I tried, I'm not keen on them. Standard AR-15 selectors. I love that. I love even saying that. I mean, you know, for those who have handled an AR-15 or in the Canadian military, a C7 or in the US, an M4, uh, we're all used to where this stuff should be, right? It's right down here. We can close our eyes and operate the selectors. The nice thing about that as well is it, it is a standard, that's a little stiff, it's a standard AR-15 cocking handle too. So if you don't like this one, and I don't really like this one, uh, I have another one on an AR-15 that I am going to swap out and because uh, I like a little bit more leverage on the left side. I'm a left hand operated kind of right hand shooter. so. I'm gonna get that one off and put it on this one. Plus it's cooler, it looks cooler. I mean, AR-15 pistol grip, if you didn't like that, that's very standard for uh, an AR-15 pistol grip. It's okay, I'm not really keen on the checkering on it. I, I, I think I'd rather prefer smooth over this. It's, it, it feels weird, but it's good enough. I mean, I'm not gonna change it just because. It, it's okay, so I'll leave it the way it is. 18.6 uh, inch barrel, it's a long guy. Uh, it is threaded, and it's threaded in a weird, well not weird, but uh, not a standard configuration. So this is a half inch by 28 thread on there, but it comes with like your A2 uh, standard flash hider, uh, and that's fine on that. I mean, I don't need a compensator on a nine mil there's relatively, or there's essentially no kick coming back from this. The trigger is anywhere from 5.5 to 7.5 pounds. It's a little stiff, but uh, the nice thing about it is, it, it's, it's crisp, like there's not a lot of play until you, you're right in that wall right away. And it breaks very cleanly. So I don't mind the heavier trigger on this, it doesn't irritate me. This is not a hunting rig anyway. So, and I'm not using this for precision shooting. 36.7 inches overall length, and it weighs in at seven and a quarter pounds. So it's not a, a light rifle, but it's not heavy by any means. Uh, and what do these things go for? $1,300 Canadian, roughly. The nice thing about it, it's completely Canadian made. I love that. Uh, it's got the standard um, butt pad back here that I like. This one, not all of the ones that come standard on these am I in love with, but this one I do like. So I will probably keep it. I've got another one, I've got a couple ones that I might trade them around. But I think I like this one, so I might keep it in here. Uh, and uh, the the QD, it seems a little chintzy, but it's, it's okay. It's like right on the underside. I, I'm not really keen on its location. But it's okay. So you'll see the video of me shooting this thing, and boy, I tell you, right out of the box, this thing was grouping amazing, uh, shooting 25 meters, and I was getting it zeroed in. I've got the Vortex uh, Spitfire on it, and if you take a close look at what's going on, yeah, I thought it was the Picatinny, uh, because it was wobbly. And I was like, oh my god, my Picatinny is coming up. So I checked that, Allen keys and everything, and because my grouping started to fall apart. And then I realized it's the spacer in between on this uh, Vortex Spitfire. So anyway, that's my bad. I should have checked it, but I did not have a wrench to take the red dot off the side. So it stayed there, and I shot it loose for a while, and then I was like, nope, this is really irritating me, so I stopped. But anyway, that's going to be fixed. It, it really, really, really grouped really well. I was like, I'm not going to say shocked, but uh, surprised, because it, it's a 9mm. It's a pistol caliber cartridge rifle, but it's got an 18.6 inch barrel. I mean, that that's, uh, that's significant. So... 
uh, that certainly helps maintain the energy and keep things on a flat trajectory. What is the application of this thing? Man, this is just a fun thing to have. Uh, you could hunt with it, I guess. I, I, I mean, I have other options, so I wouldn't hunt with it. This for me is a grab a box of nine mil, which beyond a 22 rimfire is like the other cheap ammunition to shoot. So grab yourself some nine mil, go out to the range, take your kids with you. Uh, this is a fantastic firearm for kids because of the modular approach to it. They can extend the buttstock or shorten it. Um, and with recoil, I'm always very leery to get a, a, a new or inexperienced shooter to start firing a big caliber rifle because I don't want to scare them into it. I don't, I don't want to scare them away from a pleasant experience. But this thing here, they can get used to that pop and that crack and, and shoot 9mm and enjoy it. And especially with a red dot, they don't have to worry about closing one eye. They can keep both eyes open. Just put the dot on the target and shoot away. I mean, um, next time I go to the range, I'm hoping I'll bring Mrs. Beard out with me and she can try this thing because I, I, I think that uh, for smaller statue stature people, I think they would really enjoy this thing. Uh, and I'm glad I got one. Like I said, I was looking at Smith & Wesson, I was looking at Just Right Carbine, and, and there was all kinds, and then it's nice to have a fully Canadian product kind of come out there and the quality on this thing it is amazing. It's all aluminum. I mean, besides the butt stock here and the handle, which is the only thing in polymer, boy, I tell you that, that shaking around on there is really irritating me with that red dot. But I'm gonna get this fixed and we'll go back out to the range and I'll do like a, a range shoot review kind of deal because this thing is so much awesome. It's fun too. All right, uh, hope you guys have a good evening. Let me know in the comments if you guys have a nine mil carbine and uh, what are you guys using it for other than practice planking? And let me know certainly if you have one of these guys, uh, and if you don't, and you're in the market, you've got $1,300, highly recommend it. Please don't forget to like, uh, comment, and subscribe to my channel.